Today, I want to talk about safety wire and how you can make your safety wire look better. When I'm inspecting something, and I know this goes for a lot of other inspectors as well, the first thing I look at when I'm looking at someone's work is their safety wire. If their safety wire looks sloppy, I'm going to be more inclined to look for other sloppy work as well. But if your safety wire looks good, my first impression is that you know what you're doing. So while making your safety wire look good doesn't necessarily mean that it does a better job of locking fasteners, it does help show that you know what you're doing and that you do good quality work. So first we should talk about what is safety wire? Safety wire is one of several methods used to prevent hardware from vibrating and becoming loose. While 32 thousandths Corrosion resistant steel wire is the most commonly used for safety wire. There are others. Sometimes you'll have to use 21, 25, 41, or even 51,000 safety wire. Sometimes you may even be required to use annealed safety wire in high temperature areas. This is especially difficult to work with. So let's jump in and look at some examples of some safety wire, what to do, what not to do, and how to improve the way your safety wire looks. Anytime you are doing safety wire, you should always be wearing safety glasses, even if it's not required. We'll start off with a nice, easy safety wire. We have two bolts that just have to be safety wired to each other. Pretty simple. Start off, we need a piece of wire. I don't like to have a piece of wire that's too long. Some people tend to get a really long piece. We know in this case, this needs to be pulling positive on this top bolt, so I'm gonna come around the top of it with the first one and bring it around. I'm gonna do this one by hand to show that it can be done by hand, even though sometimes it's easier with pliers, but sometimes it's actually not. Sometimes pliers make it more difficult. We get our twist going where we want it. And I'm gonna stop just short of where I need to be. If I go one more half twist, I think that's gonna make it too far. Nope, one more is perfect. Go through the bolt, out the other side. It's important to make sure you have enough wire, but you don't want to have too much either. Pull it through, all the way through. Now here's where, even if I'm doing it by hand, I like to have a pair of pliers of some sort. I like duck bills. Duck bills give you a good way to grab a hold of the wire and pull it tight, even if you don't have safety wire pliers. You can use those to really get your wire nice and tight. Come around the outside of the bolt. Now, here's what I see a lot of people wanting to do. This is the first thing that gets people. They want to pull their wire down this way or out to try to get it to pull tight. But if you do that, it's going to pull the one around the outside of the bolt head away from it. If you pull your wire up in the direction it needs to go, it makes it lay nicely around the head of the bolt. So I'm going to pull on the one that goes around the bolt and get it nice and tight. Right there, we have a nice tight safety wire. Now we just have to keep it that way. I'm not going to use pliers to make this pigtail, but you could, and it would make it, you could make it a little bit tighter if you did. I want to show you that it can be done without using the pliers. Okay. Not bad. Could be a little bit tighter if we use pliers. We could put more force on it when we're pulling it, but that's not bad. Cut off our pigtail. Now there's two ways to make pigtails. 
Most people are taught to bend it around and make a horseshoe shape with the end tucked under. That works fine. Personally, I think it doesn't look quite as good. A lot of times, when I can, sometimes I end up having to do that anyway, but sometimes I like to bend mine around to where the end of it is tucked underneath right there. Now there's nothing to get caught, it's out of the way, and it looks nice and neat. That's how we can safety wire without pliers. Let's do that again, but this time we're going to use safety wire pliers. Start the wire through the bolt. Sometimes if you got something on the other side, you got to put a little bend in the wire to get it through. Get it pulled around the direction I want it to go. I'm going to take my pliers and snap that wire nice and tight. I'm going to do the same thing with the wire coming through the hole. That does two things. It straightens it out and it gets it going in the direction I want it to go. It gets it nice and tight around the bolt head. Now I'm going to grab the wire with my pliers that comes around the bolt head because that's the one I'm really worried about being tight. So I can put a lot of tension on it. Grab the other one with my hand and start my first twist by hand. Doing that helps that stay right up against the hole right here. Then I'm going to take both of the wires, clamp them in my pliers where I want the twist to end, which will actually leave me a little bit short, but I do that intentionally. And then I'm going to take my pliers, make sure they're twisting the correct direction for where I need. And we'll go a little bit more right about there. That's pretty good. Now, that left me a little bit short on my twist. I need another half twist, but I want that so that I don't go too long. The half twist still put me right about where I need to be, just maybe a hair short, but another half twist would be too long. So I'm gonna stick it through the bolt head. I've got pliers this time, so I'm gonna use it to pull it through the other side. Pull the other wire around. Now, by pulling on this, that gets this nice and tight. I can pull on the one coming around the bolt head. Also gets this nice and tight, and then do the same thing. Start that first twist by hand. Then you can take the pliers, clamp on, and in this case, the pliers wanna rotate the wrong direction for what I need. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to twist the pliers by hand while applying slight pressure. Now, if I'm a little bit loose or have a little bit of a gap right here, sometimes I can take that, pull it and twist and give it just a little bit extra right here. That makes this nice and tight. This time I'm going to do a conventional pigtail. I'll break that off right there. Grab it with the pliers, twist it around, bend it under. Nice and tight. Let's do another one that's a little bit more difficult this time. We're gonna do a three bolt pattern. Same principles apply. However, sometimes the middle bolt can give people some trouble on a three bolt. Start out the same way. We know this bolt needs to be pulling positive so we're gonna be pulling this direction. So if I took a wrench, I know backing this off would be pulling the wire tighter. Pull my wires together. I'm gonna to take my wire twisters, my safety wire pliers, and line them up. Come out just a little bit, but still go in the same direction that I want this to go. If I pull this way up here, you can see how it gets loose around the bolt head. But if I already have it laying where I want it, it stays nice and tight. Then I'll take it, get the twist going, get my twist about where I want it. And then there's a couple different names for this. Sometimes people will call this the bowing twist or I've heard it called around the world. If you take your pliers and give it just a little bit of a circle, while twisting and pulling, that can give just a little bit of extra tension right at the bolt and help that stay nice and tight around the bolt head. Now, if I take my pliers off, that leaves me a little bit short. Again, this is intentional. I want it to be short because that makes sure I'm not too long. 
Now, I know I need about one more half twist, which gets me right at the bolt hole. Run the wire through. I like to use my pliers to pull it nice and tight. Also make sure this lays down around the bolt head here. Sometimes this will want to try to pop up over the top of the head while you're doing the next one. I'm going to take my pliers, make sure this feeds through nicely without kinking. Now, there's two ways to do this. You could either come around this way, or I could pull it 180 degrees and come around this way. Either way works. However, one, in my opinion, is better than the other. If we take this wire and turn 180 degrees and try to come around, you can see how we get a really ugly loop and a kink right there. But we can do it that way. It can be done. And we'll, we'll go ahead and do it that way so you can see it. The next time we'll do it the opposite way. If I take that wire and I pull it tight, it's kind of ugly. But that does work. Now if we take that, same thing, start our twist here. Come down around. I know this is going to have to be positive. I know I'm going to have to come around this way. So... Get my pliers locked on just a little bit short and I'm going to twist it. I'm going to make sure my twist is the direction which is going to help this to lay down along the bolt head rather than trying to come up off of there. If I twisted it the opposite direction, it would tend to want to pull up over the head. Now, when I pull this, it leaves me a little bit short. Same thing, I can add another half twist, still a little bit short, add another half twist, and that's going to be just about right. Bring the wire through the bolt hole, grab it with my pliers, nice and tight, pull this one around, make sure it's nice and tight around the bolt head. Now, everything is tight right now. But if I make this loose here, if this gets loose, that allows some slack in this one. So I want to make sure this stays nice and tight. Pull it again in the direction I want it to go. This is already laying around the bolt head here. If I try to pull it this way, it's going to get loose over here. So I want to make sure it goes the direction it's already naturally trying to lay. Get it started. And on your pigtail, sometimes people tend to want to twist just enough on the pigtail make your pigtail long you can always cut it off there's no reason to cut it short right now if you end up with too short of a pigtail you have to redo the whole thing so i'm going to take this get my twist started your pigtail should be twisted a little bit tighter than the rest of it now i have a really long pigtail but all i have to do Figure out where I need to cut it, right about there. Take my pliers, bend it over, push it down in there. Nice and tight, everything's tight. It lays tight around the bolt head. I can't pop it up over there with my fingernail. Everything's tight. That's a decent safety wire. It looks a little ugly right here, but it's pretty decent. Let's do the same thing again, but this time we're going to loop the wire the opposite direction around that middle bolt, and I'll show you what happens. Now this time we know this would be neutral if it was straight in line with the hole. Bringing it over here is going to make it positive, and that's okay. As long as it's even slightly positive, it doesn't have to be a lot. I'm going to take my pliers down here. Get the wire nice and tight around the bolt head, start it where I want. Bring that pliers down, and I'm going to start my twist for the second one. Make sure it's twisting the correct direction. Again, make that sure that's nice and tight right around that bolt head. Now, even if I move this around, this can move a little bit right now, but when I pull this tight, that will tension this around that bolt head. So right now, 
that's going to be about right. If I make another half twist, it would actually be too long. So I'm going to stop there. So I'm going to pull it through, making sure that doesn't get kinked right at the end of my twist. Now when I pull it, see what happens to this wire? It pops up over the head. Stop and let it come loose a little bit. Push it down around the bolt head. And hold it there while I pull this other wire tight. Now it's locked in place as long as I stay there. So this time we're going to come around the bottom and I'm going to do my second twist going this way. Now I can start it right here and I'm going to keep it pulling this direction while I make my twist. I'm going to run it a little bit short. I can approximate the distance but I'm going to leave it a little bit shorter than what I think I need just to make sure I don't go too long. So I'm going to start my twist get it going nice and tight and then pull it back down. Now I intentionally left this short so now I just need to add however many more twists I need. In this case just one. Run it through here. Take my pliers. Pull this wire nice and tight. And then run the wire around the bolt head the same way. Finish it just like any other one. Now, look how much different that looks. That looks a lot better. I prefer this way. You can do it either way, but I think this one works a little bit easier, a little bit better. Make sure this is pulled nice and tight around that bolt head. And finish off my twist. Finish off my pigtail. Again, make it nice and long. There's no reason to go short on the pigtail. You're going to cut it off anyway. Twist it a little bit tighter than the rest of it. Pulling while I'm twisting. Nice and tight. Now I can cut off the pigtail where I need it. Bend it over. Everything is nice, tight, neat. Looks nice and clean.